Okay, this is the summary lecture for week one. Before we move on, I want to introduce myself again briefly. My name is Sunny Kim. I'm an assistant professor in special education. I am originally from South Korea. I received my bachelor's degree from South Korea in early childhood education and worked uh, there as a preschool teacher. And I came to the United States for study and I received my master's degree in early childhood special education from University of Texas at Austin and worked uh, at UT Child Care Center as a special educator. I received my doctorate from UW Medicine in special education. My major area is in autism intervention, like um, to improve um, the children's social behaviors at schools and community. Uh, before UIC, I uh, was in Alabama for my first job. Uh, I was a program coordinator and assistant professor in early childhood special education and early childhood education dual certification program. And this is my second year at UIC. I'm still learning UIC culture and everything. So far, I really like it. Okay, just for the overview of the course, this course is to know about behavioral teaching principles. So we are going to say the term behavior thousand times in the course. We define the behavior as observable and measurable evidence of learning. Also, the class is to discuss about teaching strategies based on ABA that we are going to talk about today. ABA is a field of study to teach uh, important skills in the context where the skill will be used. Uh, however, many, think, many people think that ABA is an intervention package or uh, intervention that are developed for autism, uh, individual with autism or emotional, de uh, emotional behavior disorders, or ABA is something that needs to be, uh, needs to happen in a separate room away from distractions. But these are not true. These are not always true. So we are going to talk about what is ABA now. Okay, I believe you already schemed through Bear, Wolf, and Riesley's article, right? Uh, and you know this reading, this article was a required reading for SPD 514 as well. However, I included this article again to SPD 517 because I want you to revisit uh, the basic terms and concepts about ABA. ABA. So uh, let's recall our memory. Okay, according to uh, Bear et al., each of the words applied, behavioral, and analytic has important meanings. Applied. So non-applied research can include any behaviors, while applied research is constrained to examining behaviors which are socially important rather than convenient for study. So ABA uh, is not a lab research. We are going to focus on um, socially important behavior to the students with a behavior issue. People generally understand that uh, in applied research, there is a typically a close relationship between the behavior and stimuli under the study and the subject in whom they are studied. As an applied researcher, you should focus on improving behaviors that are uh, not burden for the individual and um, the behavior that are contact uh, that contextually fit. So you have to always consider that, um, you have to always have to consider this question. How immediately important is this behavior or these stimuli to this subject? We are going to picking up the very, very socially important behavior before we teach the behavior. 
Behavior. Behaviors must be observable and measurable because we can observe and measure the behavior. No verbal reports or anecdotal reports are accepted as evidence of learning. So we are going to gather data and then later we are going to visualize the data in graphs. So we can show increases and decreases in some uh, observable behaviors, students' behaviors in graphs. Analytic. So uh, we should be able to measure the behavior change, right? So the behavior changes should uh, behavior change should occur under the control of stimulus. For example, generally we observe a person's routine behaviors without stimuli, which is intervention. It's called baseline. So we watch students. We observe students' uh, routine behavior without intervention. Then we introduce stimuli or stimulus, which is intervention um, or teaching strategies, and see how the behavior changes with the intervention. And we an analyze the behavior change. Let's see the graph. Target behavior, which is social interaction, is measurable and observable, right? So the person could collect data and um, report students' behavior change. Let's take a look at this. Without the stimulus, which is positive attention, the child behavior stays at the low level, which is the first baseline. Take a look at it. Uh, and then the researcher introduced positive attention, use positive attentions, and students' social interaction behavior increased, right? And have several sessions with positive attentions. When the researcher redraw the intervention, which is positive attention, and went back to baseline, the behavior slightly decreased without intervention right then the researcher reintroduced the intervention and you see that behavior uh, increased with the intervention so we achieved uh, experimental control at three um, different moments when you introduce when you withdraw the intervention you can see um, the behavior change and experimental control. That means the behavior is controlled by uh, use of stimulus or stimuli. For next week, please read Cooper's chapters 3, 4, and 5. Skim through Kennedy's pages 109, 110 on Blackboard. Also, other materials and directions will, will be available on Blackboard for next week. So please take a look at it. Bye.